Hi, Hi guys. guys. Hope you're all doing well and having a good time. We are back again with another video. And this time we are here to share with you that in these eight months, how much profit have we made on the property which we have bought? So you guys might have also seen our house tour. If you haven't, link will be in the description and somewhere here. And uh, yeah, we bought a house in Brampton that was approximately eight months back. That time the COVID season was at its peak. And right now, as you know, everyone is habitual to this new normal and people were saying that market is going to crash, but that has never happened. Because Canadian government has made sure to provide all the amenities and required uh, economical support. So that's why people are still able to afford the houses and also to pay their mortgages, their rents. And more than that, the uh, interest rates have gone drastically low. Even uh, what we are paying is around 2.39%, but now it is lesser than like 2%. Uh, so yeah, that's why people can afford the houses and they are just taking advantage out of the situation. Less than 2% interest rate guys, that's like a dream come true for many investors who are now looking at this as an opportunity and investing in the real estate like never before. So we are here to share with you the profit as well as why you should buy the house as soon as possible and depending on your situation you can also keep the investment as an option we will share everything in the video so before we start the main video uh, please like share and subscribe our channel if you are new here and if you are already a subscriber then please give this video a thumbs up and we will quickly start the video let's start All right, guys, as we discussed in the beginning part of video, our house price has increased approximately 100K in the span of eight months. Yes, guys, uh, it's like we bought it for 646,000. That's a townhouse. And now um, recently a house has got sold just opposite to our house and it has got sold for $742,000. So it is just eight months uh, we have been here and it has increased approximately 100K. And Gagan, you know what? That house was listed for approximately 700K. That is uh, 60K more than what we bought our house. And the house has been sold over 40 thousand dollars more i have a little clipping from the board that i just uh, captured from outside the house it recently got sold and uh, of course we are new home buyers so we were very keen to know what the market is going to behave and how the you know houses are going to get sold in our neighborhood so if you want to know more about the pre-built and the pre-construction houses we already have a video on that and we will drop the link in the description box and uh, to share our story we were quite reluctant in buying the house we were actually reluctant we were very relaxed in our two bedroom uh, basement, basement apartment yeah. because that was very cheap if i will you know compare with the rents existing right now so we were paying like 1050 dollars for that and our landlord just kicked us out from there <laughs> that's a different story but that was the motivation basically yeah. for us to you know start hunting for a house because Particularly, I didn't want to go for a rented house. Gundi was still okay with that. But I was like, if we want to exit from here, then let's get our own place. I was okay, but I didn't want to go to a basement again. That was for sure. And I didn't want to pay 2000 2100 for a two-bedroom um, nice condo, including everything, you know. And then you put a little bit extra and the, you are actually paying a mortgage of a new house. Of course, it's not a detached or a semi-detached. It's a townhouse, little smaller than the other big, big houses. But it also comes as a benefit that you don't have to... Uh, take care of the maintenance so much there is a, just a single car driveway and other things uh, maybe if you are interested i can make a proper video on this why you should prefer as a first time home buyer a townhouse or a smaller property rather than just jumping to a detached or a semi-detached yes and one of the most important reasons to do that is the appreciation which we are here to talk about right now so 
most of the first time buyers do focus on the houses which fit in their budget and as per the estimate you can see on the screen right now the average price of houses in Brampton is around $944,000 so that is something minimum uh, you have to pay for a detached house so you whatever comes under that might be affordable for most of the people and that's why bidding wars happen yeah and you can see one screenshot here nice detailed houses they knowingly put uh, the rate like the listing price not rate the listing price as like 750 780 something like that so that more people more first time home buyers come and view the property and that's how the bidding war happens that's why it grabs attention of everyone in, who's in the market like let's go and check out that you know new house what people usually do is uh, they go to the real estate websites they put a filter over there i want a detached house between 700k to 800k and all the list comes up every seller wants that their house which is on sale right now it should be in the maximum searches right just like when you search something on google right it should come in the first second third just like that sellers want that their house should be listed among at the top and more people can come and look at their property but don't be scared of the bidding wars just because if you have a good realtor then that realtor is definitely going to walk you through about what area to buy the property in see there's a different situation when you have kids and we when you don't have kids so like we don't have any kids so we were okay moving to any location because we don't need to worry about that aspect but if you have kids then you have to see yeah. what's the proximity of the schools and what's the rating of the schools so yeah all these factors come into picture and that is where your realtor comes into picture so i will share a little bit about how a realtor can help you in getting your dream house or uh, something which you can afford and something fits into your all requirements so the realtors basically don't charge the buyers anything they get their commission from the sellers so number one uh, you don't need to be scared about oh the realtor is going to charge me or something like that yeah. and secondly uh, realtors basically are good they will they may or they may not make you sign a bond for three months minimum that is the thing yeah. our reality at least didn't make us do that and i really appreciate that from his side because he has a perspective that he doesn't want to bound anyone into the contracts just because he does such a wonderful work that he uh, wins your trust basically yeah and there's no negative effect of even if some professional you know companies they uh, go with the bond with their clients nothing bad in that it's yeah. just that as a client you don't feel like you know you're bound with only one realtor and you don't go out and see other better properties which might come into your you know um, maybe when you are going out you just see a, a for sale board and you feel like going there but you can't right because you are in a bond or something like that so no disadvantages of that you can still sign if you have full faith but yeah our experience has been that good and uh, we were in the situation of you know in between the covid where people were saying the real estate bubble is going to burst you can actually see those comments in our house tour video but anyways putting that aside now as you can see after a period of eight months prices of the neighborhood houses has gone so high and that too when those properties are not at all renovated the one which we bought is fully upgraded everything has been renovated from top to bottom so yeah then also it got sold for like 742,000 yeah. which is a big amount and, and that too for a townhouse so guys in case you are looking for any help with real estate we can forward your details to our realtor what you need to do is you can send in your information your contact details your email id on the email id our official kenyan dreams of yt email id link will be in the description and we will forward all the details to our realtor and the second most important thing when it comes to is your mortgage so uh, we had a mortgage broker and he is a wonderful guy he helped us uh, throughout the process so the difference between uh, going to a bank versus going to a mortgage broker is that if you go to individual bank you will just know about that bank but a mortgage broker has several banks listed with them and they can help you out with that don't worry mortgage broker will also not charge you anything some people have misconception that mortgage brokers will charge you and they might con you but it's not like that 
forget about the charges if you have a real talent you might get a cash back <laughs> yes just because uh, it's not about talent actually it's about the mortgage broker just because uh, most of the mortgage brokers are really honest here so yeah uh, they will definitely try to get you the best deal on the mortgage rates plus uh, the cashbacks. Yeah. Now coming to the main point, yes, if you're planning to invest, this is uh, such a good time to invest. Either uh, you invest in the pre-construction houses or the already constructed houses. Of course, for the houses, the pre-built houses, right? You need to have the down payment ready and then you need to have your uh, mortgage approval stuff, everything. And that is such a good option that uh, after a period of few months, you get closing and everything done and you move to a new house. Of course, the highest benefit that I can think of is you save your rental money. That money is still going into someone's pocket and you are paying someone else mortgage, right? Except that you put some extra money and you pay your own mortgage and you're owning a house. And of course, then you get a benefit of the appreciation as well. So guys, let's say you rent out a condo or an apartment and you are paying somewhere around $1,900 to $2,100. So to be honest with you, what we are paying right now is including everything, the maintenance and stuff, it's $3,000. So I think instead of paying $2,100 to someone else just for a two bedroom condo or an apartment, I'm more than happy to pay $3,000 and get yeah. my own place and that too, which is appreciating at such a good rate. Uh, yeah, and uh, about the pre-construction, like Gundeep said, that for the pre-built houses, you have to have the down payment ready. So for that, uh, try that you get some uh, savings of yours from uh, your home country. That would really help in case you don't have that much amount of money. Then the second option which comes to you is the pre-construction houses. So how the pre-construction work is that you can pay in installments and some of the builders which are coming up or which are already existing have such good plans that you can spread the payment throughout. So they have uh, they spread out the uh, total amount of payment of down payment uh, throughout the uh, tenure till the time your pre-construction house gets converted into a already built house whatever you buy you buy it on today's rate so even if you don't want to hold that property due to some reason you can do the assignment sale yeah. if you want that we should make a video on what is the assignment sale and how it works please let us know in the comments below and we can make a separate video on that so guys the whole summary or the point of making the video is to tell you that uh, real estate is such a booming market here in Canada and if you have been like it's been a one or two years and you can afford to bring some of the savings from back home um, pre-construction or pre-built houses are a very good option for you no time is bad time to invest it's not like that some people start thinking oh my god we are now late enough that today it's so expensive yeah. trust me no time is late see somebody who came in 2014 had to pay lower and in, we bought house in 2020 20. so we paid a lot higher but still it was never late yeah. and similarly if we can buy it you can buy it like everyone can do that it's just the matter of time that when you have planned to come here and when you are able to buy it if you want to buy it at a later stage then also that's fine but yeah it's good uh, idea to you know keep track of real estate market uh, keep track of the rates of properties uh, in your neighborhood area and see how the market is going as you can see in the graph in december it has just gone up so yeah that's the whole point of making a video and if you have any questions, any queries or any comments, you can leave the comment in the comment box and we will definitely reply to your comments. We are sorry that we are not able to make the video so frequently just because so much things are going on uh, on the job aspect that it's work from home. Then now it's winters. We cannot go outside much. But yeah, still we try to make a few sensible topics so that you don't get bored <laughs> or something which is very informational so this yeah. is one of them and guys we have a different channel of Kenyan dream vlogs where we post uh, fun casual videos in hindi and the link for that channel will be in the description if you can go subscribe it'll be so amazing we'll be coming up with fun vlogs on that channel as well so make sure you subscribe all right guys we will see you in the next video till then take care stay safe and bye bye, bye.